Hi, I'm Patu from Free Fin Cal. In this video, let's talk about what I like to call as the Sensex staircase or how to um, understand uh, graphs that are plotted in the log scale or what are the benefits of the log scale and how it can tell us the risk involved in investing in equity. So what you see here is the closing value of the Sensex from April 1979 to, to date. And if you look at this graph, it looks as if the uh, uh, 2008 crash was very high. Uh, in terms of uh, peak to fall, and then there's a big October 2014 a moment was also very high and then there's a moment here uh, that looks very high. But the problem here is this is a linear graph and in a linear graph we are essentially uh, calculating the price like the price 100 uh, and then we are looking at when it ha when the price moved to 5100 so that's a 5000 gap then we are moving up by 5000 uh, installments. So we are looking we are moving up in installments of price difference. Uh, but this is not the right way to do and I think we uh, the, the better way to do would be to uh, scale the graph in terms of um, uh, percentage changes that is let's say the market the moved up by 5% uh, we, uh, 5 percent uh, movement up 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 like that or you can see the 5 percent movement down also. So instead of price differences we uh, we plot a graph in uh, using the um, percentage change in prices let's say every 5% movement in prices that's a block and then we move the block up in the y-axis to do that we have to just plot using the so-called logarithmic scale and all you need to do is go to excel and do this and then immediately you have the graph plotted in logarithmic scale notice that the features in the nine in the 1980s have uh, become much more prominent that's the older data and the data in the 2000s actually become uh, comparatively less prominent and so what you see here is so let's say I take I take this small rectangle and this is I measure the height of the 2008 fall uh, and that's the height of the rectangle and I take this and now put it near the Harshad Mehta scam that's the 1992 uh, uh, crash in the market and you can see here that the Harshad Mehta scam was pretty much identical in height that's the peak to uh, peak to the bottom fall that height, the height was uh, essentially the same so in the logarithmic graph uh, you are um, scaling the graph by the percentage changes in the price whereas in the linear graph you are scaling it only in the difference uh, only as a difference in price so since you are looking at the percentage change in price uh, so any unit let's say that much if i move this unit around i always get the same um, upward movement or downward movement in price so now if I take this and put it in October 2014, that's nothing. October 2014 is really nothing. Nothing has happened. Uh, and there we don't, it, it looks like a huge movement, but uh, it's basically not a crash at all. And what the most scary part is, uh, if I move this, uh, so, sorry, I just stretched it. So if I move this and keep it here, um, if the market were to crash like 2008 today the value the market value will go from here all the way to here and you can see here it will be almost like uh, it will come if the market were to crash uh, today um, if i go by this graph uh, it will be almost back to uh, 2009 2010 kind of uh, value so it will make it the, you, the last seven years movement uh, can be wiped out by a single 2008 kind of crash. So it's po quite possible. Uh, uh, instead of plotting uh, using the auto feature in Excel, to understand what a logarithm is, I prefer doing it manually. So let me just show you this. So what I do is I take the, this is the closing value of the Sensex, and I type log 10, this is the Excel function, log 10 of that. And that is 2.0923. So that's what you see here. Let me remove that. So th now I, what I do is, uh, 10 to the power 2.0923 gives me um, uh, 124.15. So that's how that's how log to the base 10 is defined as. So you can you can you understand that uh, 10 to the power 2 is 100. That is 10 to 10. 10 to the power 2 is 100, and uh, 10 to the power 3 is 1000. And uh, in between, somewhere between 100 and 1000 is this value 124.15. 10 to the power what is 124.15 uh, is the is the uh, 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 10 to the power what is 124.15 that that what is the log to the base 10 
So you can see here in this graph when I plot it, so you can see it's uh, uh, this is uh, 10 to the power 2, 10 to the power 3, 10 to the power 4. So it's actually 2, 3, 4, 5 in the log scale. 2, 3, 4, 5. That's just a gap of 1. That's one. That's called 1 decade in the uh, log scale. Instead of plotting like this, what I like to do is to uh, actually take the value of 10 to the uh, log, uh, log to the base 10 uh, manually and then I will prefer to plot that. If I prefer to plot that, this will still look like the logarithmic graph, but I get a lot more granularity. I get 2, 2.2, 2.4. I get that actual value of the logarithm instead of a decade kind of uh, scales. And notice here, this black rectangle is the height of the 2008 crash. Again, if I move to the Harshal Mehta um, scam, you get it's almost to that section. Actually, it looks a little bit more, uh, if I look at it in this, because it gives you that granularity, you can see that the Harshal Mehta scam is a, uh, was a lot higher in, in terms of the fall, the fall is more higher and if the market were to crash today, it would all, if I just move this mouse all the way here, it will go to almost like March 2012. So last seven years uh, gains would be erased out, last seven year movement in the market would be erased out, if the Sensex or Nifty would be erased out, if the Sensex or Nifty were, were to crash today like the 2008 uh, crisis. So uh, there's one more thing that you can do and this is what I call as my the Sensex staircase and you can notice here that uh, uh, see the market has moved up, uh, then there's a flat period, so it moved up, flat period, moved up, flat period, that red line is a flat period or basically it's downward movement, it take, that's the recovery time it takes, it's fallen down, it, uh, time to go back to the old value, then it has moved up, then there's a long, almost like a decade long flat period, then it moved up, flat period and so on. So there's this flat period here and then it has moved up. So the message is to be get uh, to get ready for an extended sideways market, another flat period. Now you can um, uh, quantify this staircase even better if you plot the uh, x-axis also in terms of logarithm, then it becomes a log log graph. If you did that, then you get this kind of a value. So you can see that the dates now become a logarithm. So it becomes difficult to understand. So now, um, so any unit, so you can see here this 2 to 2.5, that 0.5 is the same unit, you can move that 0.5 up, up, up in the vertical axis, you will get the same percentage uh, uh, movement upwards or downwards in prices and then there is this um, horizontal unit, how much is that unit, 0 0.01 I think, that 0 0.01 if you move it like this, you can understand uh, how long it takes for the market to uh, recover up or recover down and so on. So. The message in this uh, is that uh, one logarithmic graph tells you uh, percentage changes and it helps you understand um, um, risk and reward a lot better than a, a normal gra linear graph. So you should always use the log feature when you go to a trading platform or any kind of charting platform. Uh, the second is that you, uh, you it's clear that the stock market returns are not linear. There are periods when there's a lot of returns and the periods when there are no returns and you must be ready for the next uh, extended period of no return and that's what will reduce your returns also. And uh, if the market were to crash today, you can see, use the log graph to quickly understand where, uh, how much of the uh, market movements would be lost. So that's what I wanted to say in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them below. I'll catch you again later.